So I want to go through this. This is the qu first question I wanted to speak about tonight. And all these little sex segments are going to be sort of four or five minutes long. Everyone's going to get an opportunity to say something and, and everybody. It's not going to be deep, deep level things here. First point I wanted to make here is Vidic or Virgil van Dijk. Who is going to go down, in both of your opinions, as the best defender in the Premier League out of, out of these two? Um, I'll come to yourself first, uh, Craig. Of course, it involves uh, Van, Van Dijk, one of your best current players. When it comes to comparing him to Vidic, we get this a lot. In your opinion, which of the two will go down as the best Premier League defender? I've got to be honest. I, I have an immense respect for Nemanja, uh, or excuse me, for Vidic as a footballer. I was thinking of Maddox for a second. Excuse me, for, for Vidic as a footballer. I think it's too early to judge Virgil van Dijk in that level of the best of all time because... He's been at Liverpool 18 months or so, done very good. I think when you're talking about Premier League teams of all time, these are probably the two centre-backs that you're going to drop in. Um, I, I couldn't split them at this moment in time, and I, I, I have respect for the two of them. Honestly, I think Vidic, was, apart from Fernando Torres, who probably still gives them nightmares, I, I think Vidic was an excellent defender. Um, but Virgil van Dijk, is, he is something special. Um I honestly, I couldn't split them, mate. This is a really difficult because I do have, as much as I hate Manchester United, I always give my honest opinions on, on football and matters. And, and Vidic was a top quality defender, as was Rio Ferdinand as well. Uh, uh, Sonny, how about yourself? When you look at those two players, I get that Van Dijk's still got a way to go in his career. Uh, when you look at things, I think uh, it, what's interesting to put this into perspective is that at Vidic's age now, Matic had seven major titles. Do you think that Vidic is going to go on to be a better... Do you think that Van Dijk will catch him in terms of titles and be a, and is a better defender than him? Um, or, or would you give the crown to Matic? What, what's your view? Sorry, Matic. Uh, Vidic. I've got Matic in my head as well now. What's your Sorry, view? that's my fault, man. <laughs> no worries. It's, it's not your fault, Craig. You're rattled, didn't you? It's not your fault. Um, just compose Certainly yourself. not by you, pal. Certainly yeah. not by you. Don't worry, just compose yourself. Um, I'll, I'll, actually, I'll, actually get to, um, I'll actually get to Van Dijk. Um, two reasons. Um, I think I think is a is a is a different specimen as a defender. I mean, the, the blokes, the blokes like monster, um, and and he can play football and he's quick. Uh, uh, he's just a different animal. He's a freak of nature, and he also keeps Craig at me. I'm always happy, my friend. Always, jovial guy, me. So, so I get your point there, Sonny. I suppose this is what I would say. There's no doubt Van Dyke is better with the ball at his feet, and he's the better athlete in terms of his speed. But there's elements of that that when we go back to the question around being the better defender, which impressed me more about Vidic. So I've always said that about John Terry. Love him or loathe him as a personal player. Anyone who runs basically like they're wearing concrete boots running through cement, anyone who's that slow and unathletic who can be as great a defender as that, they have to, their ability to read the game, I sometimes think he's that little bit better. Rio Ferdinand was a bit like Van Dijk, in my opinion, where very good defender, but would often have lapses, but he's speed would help make up for that as, a, as an example. Well, there's things to consider with Matic in this, and we'll let the, we're going to let the viewers decide, we're going to let the viewers vote on this, it's going to be down to them to give their opinions. Vidic was part of a defence that holds the record for going over a thousand minutes without conceding a goal. He was one of the main architects behind United winning three back-to-back -back Premier League titles, and in that time there was, there was a League Cup one, and of course a uh, Champions League one as well. He had multiple title winning uh, seasons, and even in the years where we didn't win things like FA Cups and League Cups, we went quite deep into tournaments as well, of course, over 2009 and, and 2010 as well. Two times world in the two times World eleven, four times in the PFA Team of the Year, and he also won the, the Premier League Player of the Year twice as well. I didn't even realise that until I looked, because I never really focused on those things. I think Vidic, I think it's important in the, these kind of debates is to not disrespect, and neither of you did this, by the way, but not to disrespect the past, and a lot of people, especially youngsters that are 15, plus, like between sort of 13 and say 20 now, that don't really remember peak Vidic and, and, and how good he was. I mean, there's, I mean, there's statistics that you can go and look at, which I think we've got somewhere on here uh, that I'm going to put up on the screen now. For people to see, and these give an example of Vidic last season. Uh, sorry, Vidic in the O. 08-09 season, the year they, they, they had the great defensive record versus Vidic last year. And statistically, there, there really isn't much to differentiate between the two of them. And defensively, I think that the stats for Vidic are higher. If you were to look at the passes and, and, and the quality on the ball, I'm sure that, Vidic, uh, that Van Dijk would be a lot higher in that regard. Um, 
Craig, do you think it could end up coming down to who wins the most amount of trophies to split these two people up? Yeah, it is such a tough one. It really is. Like They often say the greatest centre-backs like that, that they don't have to make sliding tackles. You touched on it earlier on. They read the game. And I was at Old Trafford before, actually, because a lot of my family members are, are United fans, my extended family. We went over there. And I remember that I seen Rio Ferdinand playing live. And I know this is about Vidic, but it, you compared him to Van Dijk. And I understand that comparison because he, he was like a Rolls Royce, mate. He, he glided around the pitch. His pace got him out of trouble when he needed to. But like Van Dijk, his reading of the game was exceptional. And Vidic was, was an exceptional centre-back. There's no denying that. And himself... Vidic, or excuse me, Vidic, Van Dijk and Ferdinand are the three centre-backs for me, the best of the Premier League here. I'll put them above John Terry, who was, look, wore his heart initially his sleeve. You'd want him in the trenches with you for sure, but I just don't think he had the same calibre about him as a footballer as the three that were mentioning. It's so tough to split. I can't split them. No, I, I hear that. I, I, I genuinely hear that. It, it is a real difficult one. So I suppose for me, like I always do in these kind of debates, everyone's going to have a preference and you'll always get the nuances of you know, one was a better defender, one's better with the ball. That's why when I think when you're dealing with the elites who have also all played at teams that should win trophies. So right now, Liverpool are a team that should win trophies. I think that's going to be the thing that, that splits them apart. How, how well can they orchestrate their team moving forward? Can they win multiple trophies in a season? Can they win titles back to back um, as an example? And we'll go on to that later when we talk about the, the greatest Premier League teams of all time. But we'll pose that question right now to the viewers uh, to leave in the comment sections below because we will re-release -re this video as a separate segment. Um, Virgil van Dijk or Vidic, which of the two will go on to be remembered as the better, the best Premier League defender. We want to hear from you on that right about now. Can I 